Hope you guys are excited for what is surely going to be an extremely non-controversial, really normal, super chill tier list. Today, we are ranking all of the themes for the evil team leaders throughout Pokemon history. Now, some of these are a little contentious, all right? Also, I should say now, like, well, it's, it's too late for you guys in the chat, but like, if you haven't played some of the more modern games, some of the reveals of who these characters really are, you know, are like part of the story. So like, if you don't want things with like Scarlet and Violet spoiled or whatever, like, this is your warning. But if you don't care and you already like, you already know everything because these games have been out for a couple years now, then welcome in. We have a bunch of themes to get through today. There's, uh, as you can see, there are more than the last time, obviously. The Elite Four themes were kind of already like, already pretty narrowed down because there's not that many of them. So it was like pretty simple to get through. These ones, there's obviously way more to get through and a lot of kind of remixed versions potentially as they get reused, as you can see, like Getsis has, you know, his original theme, black and white two theme, you know, and then it gets used again in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. So there's gonna be uh, some familiar themes as we go through. We'll just get through them as best we can. Of course, we need to make the S tier absolute banger as we always do. Uh, you cannot have the S tier be anything else. If we need to, we will add a tier at the bottom that is trash, but I have a feeling most of these are just gonna be really good. Oh, also for people that are watching this on YouTube in the future, if I do not put your favorite theme in the spot where you think it belongs, you are obviously free to tell me in the comments, but I really want to make this very clear. It is not some conspiracy theory hoax, like hater arc that I'm on to put your specific theme in a spot where you think it should not be. <laughs> I am simply ranking them off of how I feel listening to them. That's it. If I think they're a good fit for an evil team leader or for their leaders specifically, if it seems to match their vibe, great. If you don't agree with me, that's okay. You can feel free to tell me. But also, please be respectful because uh, the last tier list had some that were like literally just like rude and mean. So like, we'll try to keep it respectful. Getsis. Getsis. Sorry, that's my rendition of it. Shout out Detective Venna, by the way, for having like already kind of made this template. I was gonna make my own template, but I saw that somebody had actually made one that stayed updated with the added, you know, antagonists. So uh, shout out to Detective Venna, whoever you are. Thank you for making this. You made my life easier. Oh great, here comes Brassy Poots with his with his tier lists to make people mad chatting. Yeah, that's kind of just what I do, man. That's that's what uh, that's what we do here. We're just here to make people mad. Apparently, that's all I'm good for. Guys, the first theme on here. Uh, listen, Giovanni didn't have like his own theme in Gen One, so I really shouldn't be ranking this one. And it'll, it's going to kind of reflect in here because I mean, let's just take a listen to it real quick, and you're going to understand. It's just the trainer battle theme. <laughs> they didn't have like a separate theme for Giovanni way back in the day. So we just get this one, which is great, but this is like, it's literally just the trainer theme, which we ranked two tier lists ago. We're gonna add a tier to make the people happy. Reused, repurposed. Yeah, so that one obviously is a reused theme. It's it's not like a real specific theme. It was used for every trainer fight in the game, basically. Giovanni's theme obviously goes into absolute banger tier. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Before you start typing out your rage comment, obviously, yeah, that's why we made this this category. It's it's a reused theme. That being said, obviously, I love that theme. You can go back to the uh, trainer themes tier list if you like and see where that one ranked because uh, I love that song. That the original trainer theme goes crazy. So there you go. The finger hand dance. Let's go. People seem to love it and, and and I think that's great because I, it's just my natural like dancing to this. It's how I dance to these. So I'm glad that people enjoy it because I'd be doing it anyways. I believe at least in gen two, I think they did give a team rocket battle theme. I don't think it was different <laughs> from the normal team rocket theme to the like executive theme. I have done a grunt theme tier list because you know, those themes also go hard. I mean, like this one just goes crazy. This is where it goes. Damn, no, no, 
It's like such a great theme, but obviously that's that's a repurposed theme. I guess our next theme on the list here is the Archie and Maxi theme from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, which is finally our first actual theme that we can rank here, <laughs> which is, I'm, I am I am hyped about that. Uh, as the series went on, they stopped reusing themes for these guys. So we actually get to start ranking more of these. So we'll listen to the Archie and Maxi theme from uh, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. The bass goes crazy. Oh, iconic. That theme holds a very special place in my heart because it was so iconic as a kid playing these games. I mean, it's it's so hard to like not just immediately put in an absolute banger. The thing is like, I know that there are themes on this list that go like so stupidly hard that like I'm tentative to put that in absolute banger immediately. So for now, that's just gonna be A tier. And we will revisit it as we go along to see if it belongs in S tier. But I'm telling you, we are gonna have to like split some hairs with some of these because there are like at least like 10 of these just thinking back to them that I'm like, these could easily all be absolute bangers. So for now, that's an A tier. Love that one. I played it on trumpet before. <laughs> I'm plugging my own video again. You can go to my channel. I played it through Pokemon Emerald and I played a lot of the music on trumpet. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. It's really good. Okay, anyways. The next theme is supposed to be the Giovanni theme from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, I Did he get his own theme? That one might be another reused one. Let me check. Yeah, that's just a trainer battle theme. Giovanni's everywhere on this list. I'm assuming he gets his own theme eventually, right? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure... I think in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, he got his own theme. I can't remember. I really hope he did. It would be kind of a bummer if all of his were just reused. All right, the next theme is one that we can also rank again, which is great. The Cyrus, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum theme. This one, I'll tell you, I do love this one. I'll try not to be too Gen 1-er, as they'd say. <laughs> Oh, I love the pianos. Oh. That just keeps going. It's so good. It's so good. Like, 
Dude, not only is it just a great theme, it's so complex. It just goes and goes and keeps building and building and just, oh God, it's incredible. Like they did so much with that theme. Like I made this point with uh, a couple of themes in the past. The one that comes to mind is the Gen 3, like legendary, like uh, like Groudon Kyogre, like Rayquaza theme. Great theme, but it loops like too fast. And so the loop just kind of gets repetitive. This one, it's like, it just keeps adding more and more and changing it up and, and uh, they let it breathe, okay? I know it's a meme at this point, but like they give it actual moments to breathe where it's like, dun, 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 and then it like comes back in like dude it's an absolute banger i i, I it's an absolute banger. i don't know what to tell you it's an absolute banger it's so good it's so good i'm sweating it's so good the key change the first time i heard it absolutely floored a little younger me had no clue what i was yet yeah, same though i remember when i was younger that one got me like so amped i like it felt so big so like oh my god like this is the ah this is the big evil guy like ah. <laughs> it's like it's got this great mix of just like banger and like stress just combined for oh, it's it's great chat our next theme by the way is um the heart gold soul silver theme i don't think it's different from the normal team rocket fight theme yeah i will even triple check yeah it's just the same theme you guys know I love this theme. If you watch the Grunt theme tier list, you know I love this theme. Again, it goes into repurposed, reuse themes just so we can, you know, keep things clear here. But if you want to see real rankings for these guys down here, there are tier lists for those that I've already done. Just know that these are very high up there. <laughs> I'll give you that much. They're very high up there. Very good themes. The next theme, by the way, is the N theme, which we were just saying, a bit contentious if uh, he's truly an evil team leader, but listen, there's nowhere else his theme would really fit here, right? I mean, you could, I guess you could argue rival theme. Oh, we'll just rank it, it's fine. Love the clocks in the background. Mm. We go. Yep. Okay, it's it's the same thing. Okay, we, we we got it. We're good. Okay. N's theme is very similar to Cyrus's theme where it keeps just adding on. It keeps just evolving and adding more and more throughout the fight, throughout the theme. It it feels spooky. You feel like you are in a big evil castle fighting the quintessential sort of villain, but not villain, you know, because it's because it's N. And so it really kind of like, I don't know, it, there's all these really cool like background things with like the clocks ticking and whatnot. Like a lot of it's just counter melody. <laughs> like Maybe not even counter melody. It's just like all the things going on in the background, the like flourishes, the like it's so sick. It's it's a great, that's, I mean, that's just another banger. It's just another absolute banger. There's going to be quite a few of those in this tier list. Cause like, these are legitimately some of the best themes in the franchise. And like, end theme just goes hard. It, it There's so much complexity to it. I love it. It's such a great theme. He's not a bad guy. He's just my Twinkie man dream. <laughs> You and everyone else that's played the game's claw. <laughs> Our next theme is the Getsis theme. Getsis. From Black and White 1. This one is very, very iconic. Mm. 
That theme, that theme may be the most in terms of fitting the villain and imposing a feeling of you are fighting a very big, bad, bad guy. <laughs> that may be the most fitting theme in like arguably Pokemon history. You know, when you hear that theme, it's the big bad. And then it like cuts out and it's just like, it's a, it's a, and it's just like, and it just like starts building up. It feels so like, ah! <laughs> and meanwhile, you're fighting him and he's just like, hey, Dragon sweeping you. So as far as evil team leaders go, I mean, it is a quintessential, quintessential. It's just a banger for that reason. It, it, it's, I can't really imagine a, in terms of fit musically, right? It's not like. You're sitting here like bopping, you know, like you're not just like, oh yeah, cool. Like, uh, 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 uh. like it's just like, you, it just, it fits so well what it's meant for. All right. The next one is Chorus, I guess like counts as an evil team leader. Like he's like, he's more so like working for them more than he is like leading. I don't know. Chorus is kind of in like a middle ground there, at least from what I remember playing through the game. Either way, he does have his own theme and it probably fits best here. So obviously we are going to uh, listen to it. remember this team at all. Breathe. Love that. This theme's a bop. This theme is definitely a bop. Like, it's, uh, I really didn't, I think you only fight him once in the game, right? Like, from what I remember, I think you only hear this theme, like, one time. So I didn't remember very well. It, it, I love the little background stuff they're doing. Like, it, it's really cool. It definitely, it fits his character very well. It has that science, like, science-y kind of, like, motif to it that you tend to hear in, like, 
laboratories and whatnot in Gen 5. So they did a really good job of making it fit the character. As in team leader theme, I guess this kind of plays into the point I was making where like he's not fully an evil team leader, but he's also not, not a team leader kind of a thing. It doesn't really invoke I'm fighting a big bad guy. It invokes, I'm fighting this like super vibey smart guy. <laughs> For that reason, it's in B tier. Cause it's still a bop. If it wasn't good, it'd be lower, but it's still good enough to where like, it's it's a B tier as an evil team, like villain theme, as a villain theme. This honestly might be the most like top heavy tier list that we've ever done. <laughs> Cause just looking at what's coming up, I'm like, dude, like so many of these are incredible. <laughs> the next theme is the Getsis black and white two theme, which uh, we can take a listen to here. I don't remember how different it is from the black and white one theme. So let's take a listen and uh, let's see. Okay. What a remix. <laughs> Okay, I think I've heard enough to confidently rate it. That one is wild. That one is going everywhere. There is no like solid time signature. There's no like, it's just like all over the place, it, it, which is really dope. Personally, it's a bit much on the chaotic side where it's like, it's hard to establish much of a theme. It just kind of feels like chaos, which as a listening experience in game, in the fight, you know, you're not as focused on that part of it because you're like making decisions. Listening to it on its own compared to listening to all these on their own, not doing it as much for me. I would say, obviously it's still playing off the Getz's theme. So it's still giving off like evil vibes, you know, like that's a tough one to rank though. I, I feel pretty good about it being top of B. Works really well putting me in the threatening overbearing boss theme. Yeah, like it definitely does its job there. The vibe of the song is good. Getz's original theme is still like, a bop, it's still, it's a banger. Like it is, you're still jamming to it. This one, I can't really like jam to, there's like parts where I think I can, and then it feels like it's like twisting me around. So it's, it's, that it's hard to rank. It's somewhere like top of B, maybe like bottom of A, it's somewhere in there. But I mean, we have to kind of split hairs here. So I, I feel, I feel pretty good about it being, at least for now, at the top of B. The next theme we need to rank is the, I never knew how to say this guy's name, by the way. I always said Lysander. Is it Lysandre? Like Lysandre? I, I have no idea. I'm just going to say Lysander. And if that's not how you say it, you can correct me in the comments or whatever later. <laughs> but that's how I'm going to say it. We got to listen to his theme. It's Lysander. So you're right. Is it actually? Let's listen to the old Lysander theme. <laughs> Okay, I remember this one now. Okay. I love the little choir thing going on there. Feels spooky. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So with Lysander's theme, it's pretty solid. Like, it feels like I'm fighting against, like, a big boss. It feels like he's, like, you know, supposed to be pretty strong. Like, it, you know, it feels like it, it's definitely doing its job there. It's not, like, my favorite theme, but I think it does, a, honestly, a pretty solid job. I, I, I don't really mind that one at all. It doesn't do anything, like, super special. It has a couple cool moments to it, for sure. But, it, you know, it it's definitely, like, a, you know, I'm, like, bopping my head to it. It's pretty solid. Like, probably bottom of A. It's probably going to end up at bottom of A, because I don't think it's quite up to, like, Archie and Maxie's but it's not that far off. I think it could be in the same tier, but it's probably going to be just like a, a, a few spots lower in, in that tier. I'd say that was a C. No, I don't think that was C. I think it does a fine enough job as a as an evil team leader that felt like an evolution of the grunt theme that came before it. It plays on that motif. It gives some intensity to it. It adds some really cool stuff there. The choir kind of added some like, I guess like texture to the music. I, I think they actually did a pretty solid job. The next theme is the Archie and Maxi theme from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. From what I remember, it's pretty solid. Prepare yourselves. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. Dude, I'm sweating. I'm dancing so much today. Holy. The slide is what gets me. Dude, it's just, it goes so crazy. It's a hard one for me to rank because like, I mean, it's just a banger. Like, it is a banger. There are parts of the original that I think are better be from like an instrumentation or like impact like choice. There's also parts in the remaster version that are like insane. They're like in the remaster goes crazy hard. Cause like for me, it's like on the cusp of being an absolute banger. I think for now we're going to put it at the very tippy top of a tier and it will be definitely a contender to move up, but we've really like, we are, I, I keep saying it, we have to like split hairs with these cause they're all so good. I think for now, top of a tier, that one definitely could move up. We'll see how the rest of the rankings kind of shake out. We've got the Guzma, the Guzma battle music from Pokemon Sun and Moon. I've been saying it for a lot of these, but this theme is great. Specifically this one, I remember very well. This theme goes hard. <laughs> It's so vibey, dude. Like, it fits him so well. I will say, the part that holds this theme back a bit is that they don't really, like, evolve it much throughout the theme, right? Like, there's really cool moments. The instrumentation stuff is fun. There's, like, the going on, like, the second time around when it goes back to, like, the... Like, it does a lot of really cool things. It matches... Like, look at this guy. Like, <laughs> it matches the character, like, perfectly. As a theme overall, though... 
it's it's obviously it's not doing as much as like these themes at the very top right like it's it's not quite up there but it's groovy it's a vibe it could also do more it's 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 a personal like i really like this one but realistically compared to the rest of these that it's against probably like a low b it might even be c just because it doesn't really do a whole lot else it's somewhere in there c tier feels a little too harsh i don't think i can put it as low as c at least not right now i think for now i'm gonna have it at bottom of b for now we, we might move it down depending on how some of these other ones go uh ooh, lucamine i don't remember her theme very well either way I, I know that the one after this next one i don't think i've even heard before so but this one let's take a listen this is lucamine's theme from pokemon sun and moon Instrumentation here is really cool. I mean, that's just, that's just a good, that's just a really good theme. It's checking a lot of the boxes for me in terms of like how it evolves throughout the theme. The big one that I always talk about, letting it breathe, it gives it opportunities to like kind of let it air out a second, cool down the like the chaos of it. I mean, it's the instrumentation's great. I love like the intro, like the harpsichord in there with the like the wispy kind of like, like there's there's some really really cool like, that's a well-made theme as a evil team leader and i think maybe we're gonna get more of this in the theme coming next as an evil it doesn't scream evil team leader but it does have enough of that like ominous like intensity to it that you're like oh like maybe this is kind of like <laughs> so i think i feel pretty comfortable in a tier and I think I'm gonna put that over Lysander. I do like that more than Lysander. I don't like it more than Archie and Maxi. And I think right now Archie and Maxi are the, that is the stepping stone to get an absolute banger. I have to like it more than those. And it's just under those for me. Kind of feels like it doesn't have any payoff. Like it almost gets there, but not quite. I kind of, yeah, I, I do see what you're saying there, Cam. Like it, it does feel like it is building towards something and then you just never quite get to where you're expecting it to. I think even without that, it's still very solid. I do, I do really like what they did with that one. The theme we're listening to next <laughs> is the, I guess like, okay, I haven't heard this one before. It's the Mother Beast theme. I never actually finished Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I never got to this point in the game. So I don't think I've actually heard this theme before. So this might be like my initial reaction to this theme. Let's see how it goes. I'm really curious to see how this one sounds.
It's almost like a Final Fantasy, like, final boss kind of theme. It's really cool. Dude, this has to be absolute banger. It just has to be. This is doing so much instrumentally. Oh my god, it's just it. It feels so like eerie and like tense and like ultra beasts from these wormholes and shit. And like I, I, I try to like not let the game's context influence these like too much. But like I mean, this theme is just it's portraying what it's intending to so well. And yeah, like I was saying during the theme. That straight up sounds like a Final Fantasy like boss theme, which is dope. Like that is that is that is hitting all the notes for me. It's not hitting the highs of like vibes for from like Getsis N and Cyrus. Like I think those are still up there for me, but I don't know. I mean, it's like it's like right there with them. I really like that. I could listen to that for an hour straight. That that theme is actually so sick. That was a really pleasant surprise. I liked that a lot. I mean, if that Mother Beast theme, all, really all I would say is that what it could improve is, again, similar to the original Lusamine theme, just give it a little bit more of a grander payoff at some point in there. And it's like, it would be number one on this list without a doubt, because it's just, it's doing everything else like so right. It's, oh. The next theme is one that we finally get to rank for Giovanni because his other ones had just been reused, but I think in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, they gave him his own theme, finally. I'm curious to see if this is just the, like, theme that they gave to Mewtwo, or if this is actually, like, his own proper theme. Wait. Okay. This team is so sick. The fact that they, all the different like Team Rocket motifs that they've done and morphing them so seamlessly into that theme is actually so sick. Oh man, that is so cool. I'm like trying to not let my like nostalgia heart for those motifs like affect the ranking because the nostalgia in me wants to put that at the top of Absolute Banger. <laughs> I, I think... It, that is comfortably an absolute banger. That theme goes so hard. It feels like the the drum, like, don't, 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 don't. Like, those hits, like, make it feel, like, so, like, heavy. Like, so, like, oh, shit. Yeah, like, this is Giovanni. He's, like, he got fed up with not having his own theme, and he was, like, listen here, motherfucker. <laughs> it's in absolute banger for sure. That's a given. Here's the thing. I think the reason it doesn't quite get past these and it's a very simple and this is a very specific preference for me i wish the tempo was just a little bit faster and i think that that would be like perfect <laughs> it's just a little it's a tiny bit too slow for me fine i'll do it myself as theme really though though it does kind of give that energy no like <laughs> it kind of does all right next theme next theme we got to move on archie and maxi from ultra sun and ultra moon this is our last archie and maxi theme
Ooh, okay. Okay. is an interesting creative choice for the Archie and Maxi theme. Given how it has sounded previously, they were like, let's take this theme and just like, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Like, like, like techno, like big 180 there with that theme. And I don't hate it. I, I think it's, I think it's pretty dope. I'll tell you right now, I do not like it as much as the original or the uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire version. As cool as it is, remixing it this way takes some of the, some of that impact that the original instrumentation and then the remake instrumentation similarly did, where the impact of like the hits and the impact of like, like the, there's just weight to the, the first two versions of that theme that this one doesn't give me. And that's the best way that I can explain it without <laughs> going to school for like, proper you know music theory <laughs> that's still a tier i mean that's still it still bangs like it's still a lot of fun to listen to that's a, that's a cool ass theme our next ultra sun ultra moon theme they did a cyrus version i am i was when i was looking at this list this was the one i wanted to hear the most because i knew i liked the original cyrus theme so much i really am curious how they approach this given how the rest of ultra sun ultra moon stuff has been Let's see what we've got on our hands This is so hard to rank, dude. <laughs> it's making me laugh. Th this theme is funny. <laughs> like, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? The theme as a listening experience is really fun. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, like it's 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 doing some real cool stuff there. Dude, I, I'm gonna be dead ass. It just it doesn't feel like a like a leader theme to me at all. Like a like a like an evil team leader. This legitimately is way too vibey in like a like fun way. It feels like I'm like dancing at the club with the homies. <laughs> it's just, it is not like, it does not strike fear into my heart at all. <laughs> I'm like, this is just cool and like vibey. It's so vibey for a guy that's just like trying to like infuse time and space to like take over the world or something like genuinely. I love listening to it, but that is actually a D tier theme. It's like, it is just not instilling any evilness at all for me. So you know what? We're going to make a new tier. <laughs> 
we're gonna change the name of D tier here because I don't think any of these are gonna be bad to the point of D. So it's gonna be vibey, but not really evil. <laughs> Brassy confirmed goes to clubs to get his freak on. Yeah, dude, all the time, man. I just I just get all my homies together and we just go to the club and I'm just clubbing it up, dude. Just a clubber. Just fucking getting twisted, dude. The next theme we are listening to, chat, is the Getz's theme in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I believe this is a remix of his original theme. I don't think I've heard this version. Maybe, I've maybe heard this once. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, so far this sounds closer to the second theme of his. Ooh. Dude, the way that the gets just the way that hits in this song, oh my god, that hits so hard. <laughs> it feels so grand, so like, oh, they just they nailed it there. That's really good, man. I'm trying right now to decide where an absolute banger I want it to be. Do I like it more than the original? There's just a couple of instrumentation things in there that are a little bit no, it's it's. It's a, yeah, it's it's above the original for me. I think that is the best version, and I think a lot of it comes from the added instrumentation. There's a couple of like things that they do, like the drums that are a little bit goofy, but like the horn, like like dude, look, that's the way into my heart, dude. I used to do those in band all the time when I played French horn. Oh my god, those will get me every time, and they work so well here. They work so well here. They add just this like jump scare in the song like it's just oh very well done that might even be above end i might have to go back and listen to the ends theme again to see if i want to put this one over that one but for now i feel very good about putting it in that spot that's oh they they killed it with that one that's so good it looks like we have another lysander theme so i guess that they, they did another one for him as well so let's take a listen to that the original one was pretty solid uh and this was only one generation after that so i'm curious to see how heavily they evolved it compared to these other ones where you know there was quite a bit of time between those games and ultra sun and ultra moon so okay Okay. 
They essentially took his original theme and just gave it more oomph. <laughs> they gave that original theme just like more oomph, more like impact. And it works really well. I definitely better than the original by quite a bit. I almost feel like moving that and the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Archie theme down to B tier after that. Cause this one it feels significantly better. It's not an absolute banger for me, but it feels significantly better than the original. So it's for sure going here. For now, I'll leave these in the same tier, but I, I might move these down. What is next? Giovanni LGPE. Is this different? Did they, I wonder if they like brought over his theme from Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Well, that's just the trainer battle theme, which is really good. That trainer battle theme goes crazy. They did not give him his own in... That's so weird. Like, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee didn't give him his own, but Ultra Sun Ultra Moon did. Well, at least Giovanni's one real theme he got was a fucking banger. <laughs> at least it was a banger. So good for him. I think the silver lining there is that the trainer battle music that they always gave him was still always really good. It, it, it's still great music, so it's just a bummer that they didn't. I, I I thought for sure Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee would have at least just given him his Ultra Sun version, I guess. But because of Giovanni's situation there, we just need to listen to the Piers theme, which I guess, yeah, he is the, I guess he is the leader. Team Yell is always weird for me because Team Yell isn't even like really evil. <laughs> From what I remember, like they're just kind of like, I don't know, they just like ran around and like followed Marnie and made a lot of noise. But like, that's all I really remember. So like maybe there was some evilness too. Either way, I remember Piers being pretty chill overall. Whatever, we'll, we'll listen to it. I like them sneaking in some Team Rocket motif in there. That's kind of cool. I think the problem with this theme, because it's it's super, it's a jam. It's a jam for sure. It, the problem is it it's his gym leader theme because and it, Gen Eight and Nine they strayed a bit more away from a full on like evil team <laughs> and kind of went more towards a antagonistic team. The themes aren't as like fear inducing because they're not really like trying to take over the world. <laughs> if that makes sense. They're just, they're way more like tame. So I'm trying to take that into account. It's still a bit of a jam. I would, I would, uh, I would say it's, it's probably our first C tier theme. It's not like wowing me. It's pretty solid. Again, this is just kind of part of the problem with it being a gym leader theme as well in a certain capacity that like it kind of has to try to do both and it ends up just kind of not really hitting too much of that like evil like team thing it's not making me laugh like this cyrus theme did this one was like vibey i'm at the club this one had some of that vibey club factor but also some more of that like intensity so i think i'm okay with that being like c tier i think that's fine we have a few more to get through starting with the uh, chairman rose's theme which i do not remember at all it'll probably come back to me hearing it again but i i hardly remember his theme at all so let's take a listen Wait, 
Whoa. This kind of goes hard. Elden Ring boss. Oh, wow. Dude, I am blown away by the fact that I don't remember a theme that goes that crazy. <laughs> I must have just like plowed through his team or something because like I don't remember his theme going that hard. That was sick. That's like legitimately like an Elden Ring boss. Like I felt like I was fighting some like god skin apostle or something like in, <laughs> in the Elden Ring. That was crazy. And it's so weird that they gave that to Chairman Rose. Like, I feel like he's not, like, on that, like, level of, like, villain, no? Like, I mean, maybe, well, I don't, I don't, I don't remember him being that. I mean, I guess he does kind of, like, Eternatus does kind of, like, I don't know. It doesn't really fit Rose, but thankfully for Chairman Rose here and for Gen 8 fans, we're not really ranking these on how well they fit the character themselves. It's, it's sometimes it, it helps a little bit. For the most part, I'm not really taking that into account. It's an observation I made for a couple of them, but at the end of the day, it's not really affecting their ranking. If I was taking that into account, this would like this would be in like the lowest of tiers because it this does not fit Chairman Rose in like any capacity. I feel like, however, as a standalone theme, I mean that kind of slaps, dude. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of slaps. That's pretty easily A tier for me. I was digging that a lot. That felt, you know, like more evil. It felt like intense. It felt like, oh, wow, this is like a big, like grand, like boss fight kind of thing. This works really well. They get this fight at this theme, meaning it's good. Yeah, kind of, honestly. <laughs> Our next one is Cyrus's theme in BDSP. Despite how you feel about the games themselves, a lot of the music does end up being pretty solid, especially in these tier lists when we get to kind of listen to them on their own. So I remember it being pretty solid. I don't know if it's quite as good as the original, but we'll, we'll listen and see kind of how we're feeling there. Now, now, no, nah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not feeling that one. It feels like it lost so much of like the, the soul of the original version. It just, it feels, it feels like a copy in a way where it's just like, oh yeah, you're, you're trying. <laughs> It's just not having the same impact. The fact that the part where it's like, bum, 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 ba -da -da -bum, ba -da -da -bum, the drums are barely even there. It's so just like sad <laughs> compared to the original. The original is like, bum, 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 ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, bum, bum, like the, it's like so much depth to it. In this version, it's like, bum, 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 ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. and like, I'm not gonna lie, the like constant, like, 
I've talked about this a lot. I'm not going to harp on the drum thing forever because I've talked about it in all the other tier lists, but like the constant like drum is just kind of like it feels it's just there's not enough like intensity around it to like keep it from just feeling too happy. Man, I don't even know where to put this. It feels bad to even put it like near Piers because Piers was at least pretty solid to listen to. I mean, I just got to make a new a new tier. <laughs> Actual D tier. <laughs> I didn't think any of these were going to end up down there. That one, it's not it, brother. The next one we're listening to is the Volo theme from Legends Arceus, because he is kind of as evil as it gets in that game, as far as uh, there's, there's not necessarily a team per se, but he is sort of the team. We'll take a listen. Mm-hmm. happy part. It's I've, I've gotten enough from that to feel pretty confident. The things it does well, it does really well. Problem is the things it does well, it's using iconic motifs from Cynthia's opening, like her encounter theme, which obviously go hard and instill fear in everyone because we all have, you know, our moments with Cynthia. But like that doesn't necessarily make this like a great evil team leader theme. It's hard to explain. It's giving champion more than it's giving evil team leader. It's still giving that to a certain extent. And it's obviously... It's a beautiful theme. The pianos do so much here. The strings are gorgeous. I mean, it, it does a lot of things really well there from a listening perspective, but from a like evil team leader perspective, it's just so hard to figure out where that like really should go. And the reason I'm feeling B is just because it's still such a good theme. I think I'm gonna have to put it at top of C tier, unfortunately. It's so good, but like only kind of pushing that like evilness. And as you, I mean, as you could hear, there was like this, that whole like happy section. <laughs> yeah, the, the vibe just doesn't quite get to where it needs to be. It's not to the point where I'm laughing, obviously, but like it's, it's again, it's giving champion more than it's giving evil. And Volo is supposed to be villain. That, that That's not really the case with some of these other like recent gen people. Volo is very much supposed to be, he is a villain, full stop. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have to use that against him because he, he is not just an antagonist. He is like, I'm going to summon Giratina and fucking, <laughs> I'm going to end your lives with this thing. <laughs> it's like... He is a villain. Okay, we're down to our last three themes here. It's all of our Gen 9 themes. Uh, so this one's kind of interesting because this is what I was talking about with them being like more antagonistic than they are villains. Because the only real like, the closest you get to true villains here are Seda and Toro. The other two, like Cassie, if he is not a villain. <laughs> the antagonistic team technically she is the leader and there's kind of multiple leaders of it. So I guess it makes sense to have the team star like boss theme and then the Cassiopeia theme after as well. It makes sense to rank both of them, but it's just kind of Gen 9 really, they, they did a lot <laughs> with their story and uh, it, it puts these themes in kind of a weird spot. Let's listen to the team star boss theme first and we'll go to Cassiopeia after.
building up here. So good. Yeah, I mean, oh man. So the problem, oh gosh, I really have to like try to shift my mindset to antagonistic because they are antagonistic, but not anywhere close to evil. <laughs> The theme itself is so good. I love the Team Star boss theme. It, it's it's such a jam. The electric guitar goes crazy. I love the but when away, but when away do do do. It's so hard to rank these ones, man. It's so hard to rank these. I would say I think God, I have no idea. Like I'm I'm trying to figure out how much it not really completely fitting the vibe of this list brings it down, you know? This tier was meant for ones that were like supposed to be for someone evil, but like just didn't end up being evil. And I thought that maybe we'd get another one, but like that's the problem with these ones is like technically these would fit in the vibe, but not really evil category. That's not really what that category is for. I might have to just put them in that tier because I, I don't know where to properly put them. I think officially they have to go here and this one's going to have to do the same thing. However, if I was ranking it just on how much I liked it, it would be A tier. Like purely just of half of how much I like the theme, that'd be A tier easily. I, I really, really enjoy that theme. It's very good. I think officially I have to put it here. Regardless of that whole conundrum, we still have two more themes to rank. The Cassiopeia theme, I, I, I'm telling you, just before we even listen to it, I love this theme. <laughs> I, I love these last two, actually. These are these are maybe my two favorite songs from uh, Scarlet and Violet. So let's let's take a listen to the Penny theme. Or sorry, the Cassiopeia theme. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh my god, man. Good. Golly, man. Oh, God, it's so good. That theme, I'm, dude, it's the best theme to come out of there. Like, it, it, Scarlet and Violet have so many bangers. Dude, like, oh my God, that theme just blows everything out of the water. It's so good. It's not evil at all. <laughs> it's not evil in the slightest. It's place on the list is very tough. So here's what I'm gonna say. Like I did with the Star Boss one, it is technically, for the sanctity of the list, it is going in its its own little tier there. However, what I will say is, again, if I'm ranking off of how much I like it, this is my favorite theme I've listened to today. <laughs> it is by far the coolest theme. It goes so hard. It goes so hard. And I love that Cyrus theme. You guys saw earlier, I love that Cyrus theme. Dude, the Cassiopeia theme just goes crazy. Its official ranking on this list is in the, the sort of, not technically evil tier, but that shit would be at the top, without a doubt, if I didn't have that sort of tier for those. Oh God, I'm actually sweating. I'm actually legitimately sweating. It, it, dude, I, that song just gets me going every time. Someone's gonna be really mad in the comments later and be like, you are so stuck on the point of evil you're so stuck on the idea of them being evil just just rank them without the and it's like if you were that commenter just listen to me now it's gonna be okay <laughs> if you don't like how i make my list feel free to make your own <laughs> feel free to make your own and send it to me in the discord exclamation mark discord <laughs> send it to me in the discord send it to me on twitter whatever tell me you know tell me your thoughts don't 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 lose your sanity over this it's gonna be okay i was just about to say that you gotta be ready for the erm actually comments oh Trust me, Cherry. After what happened with the Elite Four themes one, I, yeah, I I know that this one this one is gonna be an issue for people. <laughs> Last theme: the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Zero Lab theme against either Seda or Turo. Let's take a listen. This seems so good. Mm. 
The intensity's there. I'm gonna say it again. They give it an opportunity to breathe. Like it is, it is a, such a well-constructed theme. Again, one of my favorites from the game. I said it before the Cassiopeia theme. Like these last two are some of the best themes to come out of the game. Like it is, it is such a great theme. It's just not like. It's not a villain like the other villains we've had. It technically is, but like, again, if I'm ranking it purely off of how much I like it, like this would be an absolute banger. <laughs> That's not really uh, the issue here. It's good enough, I think, and gives enough of that like tension of it being a villain to where it's not just like in the same tier as these other two that were just like fun, like vibey dance songs, basically. It's probably like bottom of B, unfortunately. It's so good. I'll put it over Guzma's because Guzma's kind of just does the same thing over and over again. Like he was the border between C and B. Hopefully people actually watch the video and listen to my reasoning and don't just skip ahead and then get mad at the ranking and then I have to explain the reasoning a hundred times in the comment section. <laughs> Hopefully they actually watch it <laughs> and listen before uh, rage commenting, but you know, we'll see. I mean, th I enjoyed every song we listened to today, except for this one. So overall, I think it was a great tier list. I think we had a lot of uh, controversial to say the least uh, rankings here. But again, I think if uh, people just kind of listen to the, the reasoning, I think they'll be able to understand where I'm coming from with these. So either way, I, I, I feel fine about this list. I think this is solid. So good tier list, everybody. Good tier list. Hey, great job, everybody. We did it. Another tier list taken care of, we did it.